Hello, everyone. Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast live from PTC 24 here in Honolulu, Hawaii. We're really excited to be here, as you can tell from my shirt, um, and uh, escaping the cold weather on the mm -hmm. East Coast. Well, you're on the Pacific, right? Pacific so, side, but still pretty yeah. cold there, yeah. Yeah, still pretty cold. You had a faster flight. I'm a little jealous of that. But yes, anyway, yes. I digress. Okay. Um, so we've got Andrew Roop here from Janitza yep. and uh, back on JSA TV. This is a repeat performance, mm -hmm. uh, second time. I believe. So uh, we're happy to have you back. Thanks for joining us. Oh, of course. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Anytime yeah. I can get on JSA TV, I'm always going to jump on the chance, of course. Awesome. awesome. Of course. Yes. Um, so we want to talk about energy management, yep. uh, Janitza's whole ball game. So it's for, really forefront of folks' minds here at PTC and the data mm -hmm. center industry globally. Um, so how can people best access, analyze, and really report on uh, measurement and, and energy data? Yeah. So, so Janitza, you know, our focus is bringing in the hardware as well as the analytic software side of things too. So a lot of it is down to the actual circuits, down to the within the facility, all the different branch circuits and monitoring all the different levels of the mm -hmm. power distribution as much as possible. So the more data that you can collect from all the different pieces or the different circuits within mm -hmm. the facility, the more information or intelligent information you can get in managing that facility. Mm -hmm. And so from Janice's standpoint, obviously we'll be uh, installing our hardware meters uh, all in the, along the uh, main switch gear, the main electrical components throughout the facility. But also we collect it into a software system, energy management software system, so you can analyze that information and make the right decisions, the informed decisions on your facility and the operation of the longevity of your facility as well. Excellent, excellent. So um, we want to talk energy efficiency yep. as well. And uh, if you could just tell us a little bit about what you're seeing in the market um, when it comes to ways to help increase efficiency for data center operators. Uh, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, energy efficiency, of course, is going to be an ongoing focus for uh, any data center out there. The more efficient you get, the better you're operating, the better your performance of that facility is. And mm -hmm. so from a Geneva standpoint, it comes down to the data that you're collecting, but also some of the additional avenues that you may not be collecting within the facility there. So of course there's going to be kilowatts, uh, kilo, you know, kilowatt hours that you're focusing on the consumption side of things, mm -hmm. uh, but also uh, coming into the power quality aspect. And that's really where Janitza kind of stands out. I think from our standpoint is we want to understand all those little nuances of these electrical grids mm -hmm. and all the power quality that happens. So you can have voltage spikes, you can have all sorts of different uh, acting uh, equipment that's out there but until you're capturing that information, you can't make those decisions to run you know, uh, the facility more efficiently. Mm -hmm. Another piece that uh, we like to advocate for our customers is monitoring the ground system too, which isn't too common in data centers so far. So in our facility, or within our products, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, we also have ground monitoring systems mm -hmm. that are built into our products. And so not just monitoring the, the phases, monitoring the neutral lines, but also there's occasions where you can have faulty equipment where the ground is actually leaking out currents, and that's just mm -hmm. wasted energy at that point. Mm -hmm. uh, Janitza takes the step to build into our devices that ground monitoring uh, feature set as well. Excellent. And so awesome. those are great ways of you know focusing on your uh, efficiency goals, your sustainability mm -hmm. goals, and keeping a track on that, that kind of uh, consumption. Excellent, excellent. Thank you for that breakdown. Important stuff for data center operators. And while we have you in the hot seat, we always like to ask about trends. So uh, what about data center energy trends in the market right now? What are you seeing? What do you think oh, is hot yeah. for 2024? Oh, the talk of the town is around here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. A lot of it comes around to, to AI. Of course, that's mm -hmm. such a, it's a big topic that's been exploding the data center industry uh, as it's building out throughout the generations here. Mm -hmm. um, AI has been a huge piece of the, the higher density, the higher power requirements of these facilities, the larger facilities, um, there's a lot more demand with the AI computing than there used to be with just standard cloud computing. Uh, crypto, of course, is another piece that's been pushing out there, but I, I definitely see a lot of push with the AI well, world uh, mm -hmm. getting out there with the higher requirements of um, you know, the power that's needed to, to run those processors, to run those AI computing algorithms. We're gonna need a lot more power and also a lot more cooling. And a lot more cooling means more power as well. So mm -hmm. monitoring the cooling system is another piece that we started to explore with our customers is actually putting in some of these uh, meters on the cooling systems themselves and not just the, the circuits, but also monitoring what kind of cooling is going out there. 
One of the other pieces that we focus on is in our energy management software that we provide, we can actually pull in other data, not just electrical data. We can pull mm -hmm. in the liquid cooling, uh, the, the liquid pumps, those kind of things, and be able to congregate all that information into one software, one platform. So you can start making those analytical reviews, uh, those reports, and all those pieces that you need to have to really optimize your 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 you know, processes, mm -hmm. your, your optimization of that facility. Excellent. Thank you, Andrew, for joining us. Uh, Janitza Software is obviously a very critical piece of the digital infrastructure uh, market yes. uh, and uh, going on right now. So we appreciate you hanging out with us and, and giving us the latest. Um, so thank you, uh, Andrew, and thank you, viewers, for watching us live from PTC24. Happy networking.